All right, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Gotta give ourselves all the lives. All the lives. Come on, you gotta get those numbers up, man. Come on. If I'm not coming into this with a hundred lives, I don't know what to do. <laughs> there. All right. <laughs> 99. It's a good number. Especially with this game. You can go through lives so fast. Oh, yeah. It's the bosses. Oh, yeah. They're just made this to destroy your quarters. Yep. <laughs> oh. Somehow I got hit by that ball twice. Oof. I already died. Shock. That guy just walked up and stabbed you in the back. I don't know how that works in my shell, but. <laughs> That's true. That should be your most protected part. Right? Oh. Uppercutted me right out of the air. I got revenge on him. For you. Appreciate that. Oh. Early arcade sound uh, voice work there. <laughs> nah, we've seen you in the other games. You can help yourself. You're fine. <laughs> we can only save April so many times. Right? She has the most dangerous job in the world. I mean, we should probably be less concerned about the foot and more concerned about the fact that this place is literally engulfed in flames. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, top and bottom. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be going out the window here. Bye. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm pretty sure that guy coming up through that rocket thing would have just destroyed the whole building at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Structurally on sound. Come on, April. You gotta save yourself. Let's go. Like <laughs> a city built on rock and roll would have unsafe foundations. Is he? Is he stuck in the corner? <laughs> like he's not going anywhere. He has oh, a gun. Okay, he so moved. He, he moved a little. Too. Oh, walked right into that one. Nope. Oh, he moved away from the wall, finally. He's blinking. Take that. <sighs> a good kick. Took him out. Thank you. He's the only one who had any sense in his head. He immediately grabbed her and left. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm I don't know why you guys are staying in the burning building. <laughs> Right? <laughs> it's just video game logic. Oh yeah. Oh, just get hit in the head with a manhole. I can't hit this guy. <laughs> Staying too far off the side. I'm pretty sure that guy's dead. He just got hit by a. Uh... <laughs> a big chunk of metal coming off of that fire hydrant. He's oh, definitely yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah, they gloss over the fact that we're just murdering hundreds of people. Oh, yeah. Mass murder. And if these people explode. Well, the, original turn, uh, the original Turtle comics were pretty violent. Oh, yeah. Just wearing masks that were color coded. <laughs> yeah. You gotta make that stuff, uh, you know, family friendly and whatnot. Even the first movie was a little more serious, and then the second one came out and it was much happier. Uh, yes. The inclusion of vanilla ice. Yes. Do you want to take out the one civilian that's wandering around? I almost hit her this time, then I I dodged it last second. I don't, I'm just used to attacking everything that moves. I don't know why she's there. <laughs> what is your point? Why are you here? <laughs> why are you running through a war zone? On a skateboard. Right. 
Uh, did you notice that the uh, trap over here is made by Trap Corp? <laughs> no, but that should be a hint that something's gonna happen. <laughs> right? I'm still thrown off by how huge the car is. <laughs> it is unnaturally huge. <laughs> yeah, we're actually keeping track of how many people we murdered. It's probably a whole sociopathic thing on its own. Yeah. <laughs> we're almost to 100. All together. Gotta get those numbers up. <laughs> yeah, you distract him and I'll hit him in the back. <laughs> I was trying that method, but it didn't really work. He just... <laughs> worked for me. <laughs> oh, that's true. Get out of here. Alright. My eyeballs are up top. <laughs> Not sure how you leave your eyeballs behind, but there you go. <laughs> oh. So let's see. Classic four player arcade games. What do we got? We got uh, this one, obviously. Yes. Um, Simpsons. X Men. Simpsons, X -Men. yep. Yep, yep. Simpsons uh, is definitely uh, another quarter sucker, much like this one. There was the uh, Captain America and the Avengers. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, as popular as X-Men, but Dungeons still pretty cool. Uh, Tower over Mysteria, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Final Fight. Oh, Tower of Doom, that was it. The other one. Tower of Doom. Oh, I don't know if I played. Yeah, that Dungeons one. and Dragons, Tower of Doom. Yeah, there's like there's two arcade cabinets that you can play four player like that. Ah, super rare though. Most. Oh, why is that down here? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I get hit by bombs in the bottom of the sewer part. Oh gosh, I guess I should help you up there instead of just staying in the sewer. That's <laughs> yeah, um, all good. I like Final Fight. I always fight. enjoyed this yes. guy. Get that pizza. <laughs> that pizza. I don't know. I have 92 lives. <laughs> I might not need it. <laughs> there is that. Uh, those uh, those arcade cabs for X-Men are big money. I want to say the cheapest I've probably seen in Horton is about 1500 bucks. Oh, gosh, so, yeah. Gotta go with the arcade one-up ones. Even that's pretty expensive. Yeah. Is that four player? The arcade one-up one? Yeah. So uh, there are Turtles, Simpsons, and X Men are all four player. Nice. They're a little more cramped than the original arcade, but you can do it. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's an investment. It's an investment of space anyway for four players. Yeah. I think I have the arcade one up, Turtles, and the uh, Simpsons, but that's the only two four player I currently have. Yeah, you reviewed those for Gaming Train. If I do remember. Yeah, I had the, uh, I reviewed the, uh, Terminator. Which oh, is yeah. cool. Always wanted a light gun game at home. And I hear they're making Time Crisis. Which I'm excited okay. about. I don't know if that's true. It's the rumor. That's the ones with the pedals, right? That you have to, like, duck behind stuff? Uh... And... Yeah. Or am I thinking of a different? Am I thinking of a different? I think I think cabinet? they did. You know, I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. It was one where you could hide behind cover and jump out. Yeah, yeah. No, I guess I could do that in the home version too. Sad oh, extra pedal to it. <laughs> Didn't I already beat those two guys up already. They're awful mouthy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You wanna try one of the other games? Yeah. Let's switch it up. All right. All right. I'll be Michelangelo this time. Remember, winners don't use drugs. <laughs> but they do need all the lives. <laughs> Quiet. Oh my gosh, you're already at 100. <laughs> 
this fast arcade fingers. All right. I matched you. There we go. Yeah, this is a more rare arcade game. I've seen uh, I've seen the original Cab quite a bit, but this one's pretty rare. Or at least the arcades that I went to in California. Yeah. I don't see this one around that often. The uh, the arcade one up version has this one and the other one on it. It's awesome. I don't know. This feels unsafe. <laughs> I feel like this uh, this work environment's no good. Pizza time. Some crane operators just swinging a ball around. Right? Doesn't you see that there's ninja battles going on here? Oh yeah, this is the one that you can throw them at the screen. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's always fun. Yeah, this seems to be working really well. I mean, I'm not feeling any lag or anything. No, I had no issues at all. Next quick plays well. Time that poorly. <laughs> I don't remember him being that big. No. Look, I thought he was a regular. Well, I mean, a Techno decent drum, maybe. But <laughs> yeah. Is this the one with the techno drum in it? I don't remember. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think so. It's been a while since I've played to the end of both these games. 123 credits. I think we can make it happen. Pizza time. <laughs> I think so. Terminate the turtle. Ah. Let's see if we can reach Baxter. Baxter, ba Baxter stock. He's staying in the corner where we can't hit him. Oh, there he goes. Wise. I mean, really, that's all he has to do. He could just stay far away and shoot us. <laughs> right? <laughs> Instead Definitely of landing and letting us hit him. He brought the gun to the gunfight. <laughs> Seems like it's easier than the first game too. It does, especially the bosses. The bosses are the hardest getting. part usually. Yeah, they're the quarter sucker. But we still have 122 lives left each, so <laughs> we'll do all right. We'll be okay. The original microtransactions. Yeah. never really justify spending enough to beat any of these games at the arcade. I just played the same right? few levels over and over again every time I went. I feel like I did beat Simpsons at some point, or made it to the end. Uh, the Simpsons is brutal. The last level in that is just yeah. horrible. Yeah. I think even in my arcade one up, I died like 30 times just trying to beat the last boss. <laughs> I just swung a vacuum cleaner around. I need to put some, <laughs> some uh, Simpsons. It's pretty fun. The arcade one up one also has uh, bowling on it. Simpsons bowling, so that's fun. Oh man, I've played that forever. It actually has online play. I need to get a uh, David because he has the because he reviewed it for our, for Gaming Trend. Yeah. And uh, play a game with me. Out so we can beat you up. Pizza time. Pizza time. You both have the same voice. <laughs> yeah, they only want to pay one actor. Right. That's 12k of memory we need to allocate. We need to be doing it twice. It's amazing how little memory these games took. Oh my goodness, right? I mean, this is a bit of a tiny little thumb drive. How, many, how big do you think this is? Probably like 10, 15 megs or something tiny. Oh yeah, you can fit the whole 
Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, like their complete collections on like a couple gig thumb drive or something. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of games. But yet Call of Duty is like a hundred gig. <laughs> so... Oh, keep going, man. Double that. That's true. I quit playing Call of Duty a long time ago. You're I just can't keep up. For it. The, the most I know from Call of Duty is basically just from David. I learned through him, <laughs> but I just can't keep up anymore. <laughs> He's played a few of them. And I never got into the online, but I like I like the single player, but they're always so yeah. short. Yeah, like four hours max. Pizza power! Cool off, sucker! But at this point, I think I haven't played the last two or three, so I got some catching up to do. Oh, you probably did, though, because they've been all remakes. <laughs> oh, that's true. I get so confused, too. Like, I've been reading Modern Warfare 2. I was like, is this a remake of the game I played, like, ten years ago? <laughs> or not? That it is. I did like it early on. I really liked Call of Duty 2 when it first came out. It's changed um, a lot since those days, though. I'm gonna speak some blasphemy. I actually like the, uh, uh, what was it called? Infinite Warfare? Uh -huh. I actually like that one. It was that all one in space was... and everything. Infinite Warfare. Advanced Warfare? Was that? Oh, wait. Maybe it is. The one, with, uh, the one with Jon Snow in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I think that was the last one I actually played. I mean, I've liked them all enough. I mean, I I don't play them online enough to have any real opinion about the multiplayer, so. Yeah, same. I'm just not competitive. Take that. It's like, I've never been much of a competitive multiplayer. I like co-op, like the Dark Souls games, like having people come in your game and playing and doing stuff like that, but... What is the purpose of these? Why are they down here? Why are they explosives? What is going on in the sewers? It's a crane operator from the first level. He's just following <laughs> us around, making it harder. <laughs> it very much reminds me of Galaxy, but all of a sudden... Why is this here? Why does this exist? <laughs> I love Galaxy Quest. Oh, it I feel out. like nobody Copy knows it exists. My toes, my toes, my toes. <laughs> I can't stop running into things. Now you were saying, um, when we were talking earlier, you were talking about um, there's like a god mode and there's like a whole bunch of different oh. modes you can do on your single player? Yeah, uh, everyone in the games has some enhancements, I think is what they call them. And, uh, for each game, it's different, but for some of the games, they let you do God Mode or Infinite Mode. God Mode lets you not get hurt, and you can kill everybody in one hit. But they also have Nightmare Mode, where you can put about five times the enemy on screen, which is Actually. insane. <laughs> but it's actually really fun if you put God Mode on and then do the Nightmare Mode. It's just chaos. Uh, but they also have stuff like... Uh, turn off the sprite flickering and stuff on the Nintendo games and all that stuff, and it makes the game much smoother without actually altering anything else. It's not going to make that uh, sewer level any easier, though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's I can't remember trauma. what enhancements it had for the first Terminator. I mean, Terminator. I said Terminator. Turtles. Because uh, I don't think there's much you could do. Maybe it had more lives. But for all the beat-em-ups, yeah. It's so brutal. Oh, it is. I even tried playing it for this review, and I just... After a few levels, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> that water level, I will never get by on my own. No, that, that's just trauma. You can rewind on this, though. Um, when you're playing, you can rewind. You can save the game now, so that's nice. But the enhancements are pretty cool. Pizza time. Hey, I ate this pizza I found in the sewer. <laughs> that sounds healthy. Die copyright infringement. And then the game also has a bunch of special features in an area called the Turtles Lair that has uh, like all the original box art, the original manuals you can read.
read everything on them. It has strategy guides for each game, the soundtrack for oh, wow. each game. Then it has old magazine ads, it has the comic covers for every comic series, it has stills from every TV show. So, it has a ton of stuff in there. That's kind of a collector's dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, we did it. All right. Or we're hallucinating. <laughs> I, I, I think I regret eating that pizza now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. We've fallen down the rabbit hole. I've, I've eaten the pizza hole from the or the pizza from the sewers, and now it's bad. <laughs> All right. I, you wanna hop into another uh, game now? Let's do it. All right. All right. Turn the fighters. I have never played this. I've never even seen this. I am Wing nut Chrome Dome. Who are these people? <laughs> oh, okay, at least there's Shredder. <laughs> One that we know. Right. I'm gonna play as Asuka. 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 I don't remember Asuka. her from Shh. anything. Anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do know so that I'm horrible at this game, though. This I've tried it. Genesis. Hmm. They've got those Genesis sounds, the Genesis font. Yeah, this is Genesis oh, this, one. This is, yeah, this is, this is King of Fighters. <laughs> you can definitely tell there's three uh, There's three versions of this game on the collection. Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and Sega. They each have their own style. You can always tell the Super Nintendo style. It was like cartoony, kind of. Yeah. And Sega was always the gritty. No blood here, though. No. I thought I, I was doing well, that. but I wasn't at all. <laughs> so... What in the world is going on in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're cheering us on. You got dinosaurs about to eat the drummer. Round two. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, that's there's a lot going on there. The guy with his leg up on the, the speaker over there. Right. I wonder if this is like in depth at all like street fighter or anything like is there secrets like can i learn combos is there a or competitive scene <laughs> yeah like i've never heard of this as a competitive game there's an esports league out there for this <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait a minute c shredder What's what is c, c shredder, shredder for? <laughs> i don't know <laughs> okay we just uncovered it here his first name is callum yeah we didn't know <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Good job, Calvin. Right. <laughs> Calvin Shredder. <laughs> Alright, let's try. War. Ugh. Good god, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna be, uh, Wingnut. How did you... Sure. <laughs> Is there a fourth Turtles movie that we're unaware of that's just... <laughs> all of these? Sure, Pirate Ship sounds good. Let's do that. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the turtle movies past uh Wait a minute. What's going turtles? on the right side of the screen in the in the this side there? Is that like a sewer shark? Uh what are those, those sharks from the eighties called? Oh I don't maybe know, was, yeah. Maybe it was sewer sharks. Hey Wingnut, I'm actually causing a little bit of damage with. Yeah, you kinda got me chained in the corner. Alright. I found my character. Oh, wait, wait, oh. <laughs> you might make a comeback. Oh. Seriously? <laughs> I'm unstoppable. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's not in... It's, it's not in my it's stars to win. Unfair. <laughs> it's patently unfair, I know. I will, I will <laughs> never win at this game. I've accepted it. Oops. Oh, it's like a it's crazy. crazy bird kick there. Yeah, <laughs> some a new action. move. Oh, it's it's un it's uncounterable. Take that. I feel like that spinning bird kick is gonna make a, a big a big appearance here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I actually got out. around. Oh, laugh about it. I see how it is. No. It's like you haven't won yet, Wingnut. <laughs> Round three. Fight. This 
is less of a pirate ship, more of a pirate wreck. Are you biting me? <laughs> Apparently. Or licking my face, or what? what? <laughs> I don't know, the sound effect didn't really go with the, the action. Right? It sounded like a dog toy. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh, it's all over. <laughs> yep, it's all over. <laughs> all right. War always wins. It I'm also try never changes. <laughs> I'm going to try it one more time with a turtle this time. <laughs> all right. Since it is their game. I, guess, I was say, I guess I should play a turtle. <laughs> um, hmm. Or I could be Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome. Uh, I got to play a shark. <clears throat> yes, let's go to the art museum. See what weird things are going on in the background in the art museum. Round <laughs> one. You unicorn. Oh, we're just being watched by the little robots. Oh, there's people in oh, there. Yeah. Oh wait, here's a guy just just chilling out, pumping his fist. Gosh. I have a oh, sword, but he's. Why would oh. you use that? I was gonna say I have a sword, but it, like I couldn't figure out how to use it. <laughs> he just kept hitting with his elbow. That's kind of um. Oh, what's your uh? uh I can't concentrate and fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's some dark siders moves in here, definitely going on. Some of the attack moves. Ah, uh, dark siders is fun. Yeah, yeah. my favorite. Round two, fight! Is that like a elf? <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> it is. I don't know if she's cheering or... What wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, I actually won one. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, okay, my life's complete. I gotta stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Quit while you're behind. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's tur Turtles Tournament Fighter. What's next? All right, uh, next is Hyperstone Heist. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, the Hyperstone Heist. This is the game that I uh, made it like three levels without dying that one time. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> I was try trying to add myself some dudes, but that's not a thing. We're just stuck with our lives in this one. Hope there's. I think you can give yourself infinite lives on uh, if you're playing not online. Using the enhancements or whatever. Thing. Just attack and jump. Yeah. That's it. Simplicity. This is my favorite one growing up. Well, this is Manhattan Project for Nintendo. Is that in the uh, collection? It is. Um, you just can't play it online. But you can play it co-op. Couch co-op. That's cool. Most of the games have two to four player couch co-op other than uh, any that were only made for one player like the three Game Boy games and uh, the very first Turtles was one player only yeah even the Game Boy games are still pretty fun they're just kind of slow paced compared to this I mean look at what the, the Game Boy was capable of <laughs> <laughs> not a whole lot of processing power there no, but I was actually kind of impressed by, uh, they had Turtles 3 Radical Rescue or something on Game Boy, which I never played till this collection, but it's actually pretty impressive for a Game Boy Turtles game. I think that's the best part about these collections, is getting to go back and play the ones you missed. Yeah. I'm glad there's been a lot of collections lately, like Castlevania and Contra and all that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can emulate things, but... It, Usually, like, I'd rather have a collection like this than have to yeah, go through the simulation process. I just want to be able to 
you know, turn on my PS5 and play something. I believe that guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there's, there's a lot of games that I would really like to, to play again in the arcade days. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a ninja game, I don't remember the name of it, it might have been like Ninja Warriors or something super generic, but um, it used three screens, it was like one of the only arcade games I ever played that had that. Oh wow, three um, screens. But, yeah, and you kind of worked your way from left to right. Uh, you could play multiplayer, <clears throat> but it was a beat -em up huh. like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never played that one. Look at the name of it. I mean, from a logistical uh, perspective, that's a really expensive arcade cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of I'd seen the two. For... Yeah, I had seen the two screens because I know the X. Some of the X Men ones had two screens. Yeah. They had like a six-player version or something. Gosh, I never got to play one of those. That'd be obscene. No, oh, I'm not faster than a car. I oh. <laughs> I pretty I much stuck to turtles the last time I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much stuck to turtles and Simpsons at the arcades, and uh, I'm uh, obsessed with Dragon Slayer. But that was hard to find. By the time you know I was old enough to play arcades, that wasn't really a thing you found in arcades. Now I kind of see it in retro arcades sometimes. Yeah, man, all of all of the Dragon Slayer, Doc Loot, you know, Space Ace. All those games are fantastic. Oh yeah. I've always been a huge fan of them. Treasure Planet is horribly underrated. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, it's been years since I've even seen it. It's not one they really acknowledge anymore. <laughs> no, no. Did you ever play the yeah, Time Traveler arcade? It was like a oh, hologram arcade. Hologram one? Yeah. yeah! I played that like once or twice, but that, that was like one of those ones you had to pay like a dollar to play it or something. Yeah. Like it was like the same kind of concept as Dragon's Lair, but it was done with holograms and live action. And yeah. It wasn't any good, like... but I still played it. <laughs> it oh, was yeah, cool. The tech was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just surprised that we haven't seen like a more advanced version of it. It's with more than 50 cents spent on the writing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they shot all that with like two people in a warehouse or something. <laughs> Just right. They rented it out for a day. Oh, more copyright infringement. I don't think I did a single one of those. I, I oh, try, but. I got one. Near impossible to hit, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, you get the same amount of uh, grief trying to get them as, as just avoiding them. Yeah. Where are these guys coming from? They're kind of like staged down kind of thing. They're just waiting right off the right off, off the, the side to the jump street. in. <laughs> I don't know if I were them and. Two guys just killed a hundred of my friends. I probably wouldn't go in. Right? Oh, you're putting up big numbers. You got 82. <laughs> wow. I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy on the uh, the Razu's menu. <laughs> <laughs> Razu's is a uh, Cajun place out here. <laughs> he probably is. Apparently not good at dodging his bombs. Pants. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's both of us. <laughs> what does the L stand for? Leather, maybe? Leatherhead? Maybe? I feel like I should know who he is, but I don't. Well, you get C Shredder, too. <laughs> so yeah. There, there are it's many true. questions. 
Many questions. Developers might just be making stuff up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's put an L in there and see what people do. Right. Cowabunga! <laughs> Mysterious ghost ship. Yeah, this is the era of bad dudes, too. You can definitely tell by the voice acting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you a bad enough dude to save the president's daughter? Right, from ninjas. <laughs> Wait, do I pick up these little bottles, or what? I... I don't know. I was dodging them, but I don't know what they are. They look like little health pods. From Diablo. Yeah, bad dudes and double dragon. Oh, yeah. Spent some serious money on double dragon. Double Dragon was always fun. I liked 1 and 2. I wasn't any good at 3. I feel like it was really hard. There were so many unanswered questions in this story, I'm glad we got more sequels. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very complicated story. Yes. A rich in story history. Should we be eating these mysterious boxes of uh, pizza floating on the ocean? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think the turtles think, though. They just eat. No. Is this that pirate ship from the other game? Yeah, I think Hyperstone Heist came out at the same time as uh, Turtles in Time. So they kind of like, kind of reuse assets. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like it's not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar. Yeah, but we fought in front of that garbage can thing uh, earlier. It's like, okay, that's definitely from the previous game. Yeah, and like the uh, the alien things. Yep. So I never really knew. It's not the same game. It has a different name, but I feel like it's kind of the same. Oh, jeez. I even knew that was going to happen, and it still got me. Well, no, you didn't know, because it didn't say Trap Core on this one. That is true. It wasn't like labeled a trap. To me. <laughs> now, the hardest arcade ever was Ghosts and Goblins. Oh well, yeah, no doubt of that. That was quarter fucking machine for sure. I mean, it's it's almost impossible not the, just in your home plane. It's what? It's not the fastest, though. I think I figured yeah. out the fastest. There's a game called Gladiator. Uh huh. And I think it's Gladiator. But it's literally you're playing a Gladiator, and you can lose a quarter inside of 20 seconds. Oh, gosh. What type of game <laughs> yeah. is it? It's literally left to right, beat them up. Um, you're in like a single little arena. You pick a character, there's like eight of them, and you swear off against another character. That's it. Huh. I don't think I've played that one. It's, it's yeah, I'll have to brutal. look it up. Oh, I thought of another uh, good beat em up Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Capcom at its finest. I think yeah. it's Capcom, right? Yeah. I, I think so. Capcom had a lot of the good uh, beat em ups at that time period. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I don't know why they don't just make like a big beat em up collection. Well, I'm sure it's right stage property or whatever. Yeah, lawyers are involved. It always ruins everything cool. Hey, more copyright infringement. It's the thing. <laughs> I feel like copyright laws were a little more loose back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody cared. No, no, it's as long as you just you blatantly come out. <laughs> But neither one of us wanted to pick up that power if I guess. I, I kept waiting for something more important to use it on and... <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we have to discuss uh, the pecking order of colors of ninja clothing. Like, you know, you got white, you've got orange, you've got red. Right, orange, red. Yellow. Yep. Rock. <laughs> With purple boots. <laughs> Why did I... See, this is what this is what happens when you eat mysterious uh, pizza that you find in the ocean. You turn into a rock. <laughs> it has that scale disease or whatever from Game of Thrones. <laughs> right. 
dragon scale. Yeah, the dragon scale. Alright, Leo. Get yourself some pizza. I'm sure it's totally safe to eat pizza that's, you know, that's down in a nice, damp, uh, cold cave. <laughs> I mean, if Shredder wanted to kill the turtles, he should just leave poison pizza out. Right? He doesn't need the, he doesn't need the ninjas, the Foot Clan. Yeah. We'll just eat the pizza and die. Oh. I was wondering if you can just successfully hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, I picked that up at the wrong time. So does the Shredder have, like, stock and apple from back in the day or something? I mean, how does he afford all of this? Yeah, I mean, we're at over 300 people killed. <laughs> right. The infrastructure cost is kind of high. Was Rocksteady thrown in here? <laughs> He's yeah. just holding his butt. Get in there. You're, you're next. <laughs> oh. Yeah, did I hear you right when we were talking the other day? You've not seen the Michael Bay uh, movies? I have not. I haven't seen anything since, uh the third Turtles movie where they go back to medieval times or something. Oh, uh, back to Japan. It was yeah. so bad. I mean, I liked that when I was like a kid, but I, I haven't watched it since because I know I'm not going to like it now. <laughs> so oh, I'd rather just leave my memories. It did not hold up. <laughs> Turtles 1 and 2 I could still watch, but that one I know would have. Uh... Another watchable horror show. I have not seen the Michael Bay. I did, I did see the cartoon movie that came out a while back. And then uh, Seth Rogen is apparently making a movie that comes out next year. The uh, the uh, cartoons are actually really good. The more recent ones. Mm hmm. The cartoons were always good, even growing up. But yeah. I feel like Laird, I think Laird and Baird, I think the creators. I think they were always involved in the in the the cartoons, but not so much on the movies. Right. Probably sold those off to whatever company, and that was it. <laughs> All right, well. There's no awesome. more games to try out. <laughs> no. I guess we'll look for your review and uh, see that on GamingTrend.com, and thanks for checking it out. All right, thank you. All right, see ya.